Stylish Stormer Blades overhauls the appearance of the Dwarven weapons in-game, giving them a more angular and refined look. These models are of an extremely high quality, and with this mod your Dwarven weaponry will appear to match the advanced technology of the Dwemer themselves. Throughout this showcase, I've also been using the bronze-like texture add-on for this mod, to make the textures more in line with the original gold bronze colour. Overall, if you want to add a touch of elegance to your Dwarven arsenal, be sure to give Stylish Dwemer Blades a try. Astronomer's Loft adds a small but cosy player home located in the attic of Arcadia's Cauldron. Upon entering the loft, you will immediately notice the abundance of storage space available, despite its small size. The bookshelves and open chests function as containers, while barrels, cabinets and a safe provide additional storage options. The open book on the desk may seem like a simple decoration, but it actually functions as an enchanting station, allowing you to enchant your weapons and armour without leaving the comfort of your home. And for the alchemists, the alembic on the shelf above the desk serves as a fully functional alchemy table. Personally, I'd recommend installing the optional fire by Set Lazette. This add-on moves the entrance to the loft to inside Arcadia's cauldron, and adds a small requirement to access the loft. To gain entry to the loft with the add-on installed, you must be considered a friend of Arcadia, which can be accomplished through the fetch quest given by Farangar, after which you'll get the option to purchase it from her for 500 gold. In my opinion, this home is perfect for any aspiring adventurers or in a cosy and convenient player home in Skyrim Center. The Silent Moon's camp is known for its unique Lunar Forge. The Lunar weapons said to be crafted at the forge are rather mundane in their design, as they're simply steel and iron weapons with a unique name and enchantment. However, Lunar Weapon Replacers changes that by replacing them with entirely new and unique designs. Each Lunar Weapon has been given a distinct and visually interesting appearance that fits in perfectly with the rest of the game's weaponry. The mod includes replacements for the default Iron and Steel Lunar Weapons, as well as introducing new variants of the Lunar Weapons, including a new Greatsword, Bow and Dagger. In case you enjoyed the Lunar Weapons vanilla design, the mod has a standalone module, which rather than replacing the Lunar Weapons, replaces all the variants within the exterior tower of the Silent Moon's camp. This mod adds some needed uniqueness to a neglected group of weapons, and I'd highly recommend it. Puzzle Variations is a mod that enhances the Nordic puzzle pillars found in the dungeons throughout the game. The mod alters the default combination of Hawk, Snake, Whale on the pillars by incorporating all nine Nordic totem animals into various combinations. As a result, players will encounter a different combination of totem animals in nearly every dungeon they explore. Furthermore, some of the pillars now require a different amount of rotations, which is great for experienced players who want the chance to solve the puzzles for the first time again. Overall, Puzzle Variations is a great way to freshen up the dungeon exploration for experienced Skyrim players. Horseman Torchwood Fixes and other mount tweaks fixes two long-standing issues within the game. Firstly, it readjusts the position at which you hold your torch while mounted on a horse, so no longer will you be burning your horse's back when you're only trying to illuminate the path in front of you. Secondly, the mod enables horse mounting combat in water. These are two features that should have been in the vanilla game, and it's the type of mod that fits so well into your playthrough you'll forget the mod added features. The first person artifact animation replacer is a small mod that adds a new level of uniqueness to two of Skyrim's legendary artifacts. The mod replaces the first person animations of the Mesa Mola Ball and the Hammer Volundrun. The new animations are well done and add a fresh new perspective to using these weapons in combat. One of my favourite things about this mod is that it doesn't change the combat gameplay at all, it's just a small aesthetic tweak that has a big impact on the overall experience. The new animations are fluid and satisfying to watch, and they add just the right amount of flair to make the two weapons feel even more unique. That's all the mods I have for today. Be sure to endorse any mods you enjoy, and thanks for watching.